How's it going guys? Today we're going to the Tullamore show. Just getting ready. Grab myself a hat. Keep the sun off my ears. And uh, we'll hit the road. So we're here at the Tullamore show, our mate Mike is with me. Hello. <laughs> Hello, but Mike's a bit camera shy. And we made one crucial mistake. Now we wore jeans, <laughs> we forgot, you know, it's like nearly 30 degrees today. We should wear shorts. So I've never been to the Tullamore show, this is my first time. I'm gonna have a walk around, see what the crack is. Um, thanks to the guys at the committee, they sent me out two tickets. I ran a little competition on my Instagram to give away two tickets. And uh, Kamiya also gave a ticket for me, and Mike was the chosen one. <laughs> so, we'll see what the crack is. Wade is pushing me now down here, okay? And the only weight on the quad that you can shift is your own body weight. So keeping that body weight to the uphill side of the machine. If you're staying straight up in the saddle, well your body weight is pushing you downhill and the forces are acting on you. The water is pushing down as well. So use your body weight, shove up to the uphill side of the machine and that should hopefully stop the machine from going over. Now it's not every hill they will go, be able to go on. Or uh, maybe a bit of wet gear that might have got torn or something like that that can all get you entangled into it. A good friend of ours here on the stand today is Peter Gottery. Peter is a, he's a suckler farmer from Galway, and Peter was changing the spools at the back of his tractor. Now earlier in the day, his wet gear got torn in the gate, and there was a bit of a tail hanging from it. Now, when he was changing the spools, he felt something tugging at his trousers, and when he looked down, he noticed that his leg was getting caught up in the PTO shaft. He went to hit the button on the side guard of the tractor, but by that time, he was the far side of the PTO. When he looked up, his leg was gone. And just see how fast it actually takes to, to, to chew up the straw man. All right, Ian? So we're just up here at the Farm Skills. Farm Skills is a mocker competition, consisting of a general knowledge section, uh, tractor driving, and they do a bit of fencing, livestock proof fencing as well. So our club, Cal and Mocker, are in it here today. Our guys are just down here. So all the teams, the different Mockers, are competing now in the final. Hope the lads will do well today. I think my very nice. <laughs> Pretty impressive stand here by TFM. The guys sent us out to John Deere demo earlier on this year. We're looking at the pedigree Holsteins here. There would be some lovely cows off these if you put a purebred jersey on them. What do you think? Do you think they should go Bam. Bam. Is he going to be here with a um, no, not very <laughs> special cow? Look. You'd have some lovely he cows off. Quality. Go out. Cementals now, and uh, if you look at these. My uh, father, Padraig, used to uh, have cementals himself. Look at the angle first. <laughs> the photographers lying down the ground to get the right angle for It's impressive seeing everyone showing their cattle, grooming them, and getting them to stand right. It's pretty cool. So we're just about to head home. Got now dairy power goodie bag. The uh, 
Dairy Power, of course, my sponsor for the Rose Tralee. So we went up to see the crew there, had a good chat. So, um, yeah, good show there today. Thanks very much to the meeting for sending me out the couple of tickets and the uh, tickets to give away to some of the Instagram followers. So that was great. It was a good old day. Nice old show. We pretty much saw everything. What do you think, Mike? Any thoughts? No, I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was uh, a good old day. Lots of animals, machinery. This is my first show I've taken a video at, so I'm not sure really what you guys want to be looking at. But that's all for this video, guys. Thanks very much for watching. See you in the next one. Au revoir.